Wolfhounds are the real killers of the dog world. These brave creatures fear no one and can engage both small animals and dangerous predators like wolves and even bears. It's worth seeing. In this episode, you'll see wolfhounds in action and learn interesting facts about these fearless beasts. Let's go! Wolfhounds Many people mistakenly think that the wolfhound is a particular breed of dog, but this isn't true. You're kidding me, right? No, not really. In fact, the wolfhound is a whole group of different large breeds of dogs that are bred and used to protect pastures from wolves, as well as to hunt wolves. Wolfhounds, for example, include Kangal Shepherd Dogs, large Turkish Sheep Dogs that have no fear. In this footage, the actions take place exactly in the homeland of the Kangal Shepherd Dog in Turkey. A fight between a Kangal Shepherd Dog and a Pit Bull was captured on CCTV. The Kangal lunged from behind a fence and attacked the Pit Bull, which the owner was holding on a leash. All attempts by humans to stop the fight went nowhere at first. The pit bull was already very uncomfortable in the jaws of the Kangal, and then another dog attacked it. The Kangal only let the pit bull go after its owner punched it several times in the head. And here, the Kangal shepherd dogs showed why they're called wolfhounds. Four Kangals attacked a wolf at once. Predator fell to the ground and it began to be held. The wolf didn't stand a chance against the four wolfhounds. But here, the situation is the opposite. Three hungry wolves are chasing the Kangal. At one point, they have it cornered. The Kangal breaks free and maneuvers, trying not to put its neck under the wolf's teeth. From the footage shot by another camera, it's clear that the wolves have neutralized the Kangal and are already dragging it somewhere. But suddenly, two more Kangal shepherd dogs appear. They easily repel their friend and chase the wolves away. Frightened, they immediately ran away. Wolfhounds can fight not only a wolf, but even a big bear. In this footage, two Pyrenean mountain dogs, another wolfhounds, do just that. The dogs run up to the bear to chase it off the property. The bear attacked one of the wolfhounds, kicked it, and even trampled on it. But the second dog immediately got up and chased the bear, which had already started chasing the second dog. The fight lasted for some time, and eventually the wolfhounds still managed to exhaust the bear and chase it away. It ran into the woods, and the Pyrenean wolfhounds continued pursuit. And here, the wolfhound itself experienced the numerical superiority of the enemy. The Pyrenean mountain dog was all alone, and it was opposed by a whole pack of wolves. Wolves surrounded the wolfhound and tried to get it in a ring to get easy prey. But the Pyrenean wolfhound is not so simple. It managed to repel all the attacks and not to be exposed to the sharp teeth of the predators. In the end, the wolfhound broke free and ran away. A reasonable settlement. Don't think of it as a defeat because it's a real victory to come out of the fight against the whole wolf pack unharmed. Wolfhounds also include one of the largest dog breeds in the world, the Caucasian Shepherd Dog. These huge dogs can handle many opponents, and wolves are not such a problem for them. In this old footage, we see wolves attacking sheep, but a Caucasian Shepherd Dog came to the rescue of the flock. The Caucasian Shepherd Dog worked great. The beast dispersed a small pack of wolves and also dealt with one of the predators. People soon came to the rescue and helped the Caucasian Shepherd Dog protect the area. Another famous giant dog is the Central Asian Shepherd Dog, or Alibi. This dog originated from Central Asia, weighs at least 110 pounds, and reaches a minimum height of 2.2 feet. It's a very hefty size for a dog. No wonder that the Alibi is not afraid to engage in battle with the most dangerous predators. For example, here the alibi decided to fight a tiger. The big cat managed to slap the alibi, but the dog showed by its barking that it wasn't worth continuing. Judging by the tiger's behavior, the giant's barking frightened it and brought it to its senses. The big cat decided to leave the alibi alone. If it comes to a real fight, the alibi shows all its abilities to the maximum. Several years ago, a shepherd was walking his herd in the Caucasus Mountains when a hungry wolf got close to the animals. Luckily, the herd protector was nearby. The alibi quickly reacted and subdued the wolf. The big dog grabbed the predator and held it by its spine until the owner approached. The other dogs were encouraging their large fellow at this time. Central Asian Shepherd dogs often launch attacks themselves. In this footage, the alibi met the Gamper, an Armenian wolfhound, which is also notable for its size. First, the dogs behaved quietly enough but looked at each other. 
Suddenly, the alibi began to get too active, beating the dog, and the latter couldn't stand it. A fight ensued. The alibi pressed the Armenian Gamper against the fence and rammed it, while the Armenian Wolfhound tried to repulse the attack and hit the alibi a couple of times. The fight ended in a draw, but what would have happened if the dog's owners hadn't been there? Azerbaijan, neighboring Armenia, also has its own wolfhounds, curd bassers. These Azerbaijani dogs are very loyal, perfectly cope with the tasks of a guardian and protector, and very much dislike strangers, including animals. Almost every curd basser involved in grazing a flock of sheep has several victories over wolves. But these Azerbaijani wolfhounds fight jackals more often. Two or three dogs destroy a pack of jackals in the harshest possible way. But here we see a one-on-one -on -one fight. As you can see, a jackal is not a hindrance for a curd basser. The Azerbaijani warrior easily pushes the beast to the ground and grasps it very firmly with its teeth. After such a beating, the jackal has no chance of surviving. In general, it must be said that although wolfhounds are really good at coping with wolves, even the largest and strongest wolfhound in the world cannot handle a large pack of wolves. And if the pack will consist of very large wolves, then wolfhounds don't have a single chance. By the way, what about big wolves? Which ones are the biggest and most dangerous? It's worth finding out. Stay tuned to see the biggest and most dangerous wolves in the world and learn the most interesting facts about them. Grey Wolf In the world of wolves, it's all simple. The most famous wolf in the world is also the largest one. The gray wolf, or just the wolf, is the predator that we usually picture in our minds when talking about wolves. What kind of wolves are they? I mean, what do they call the ones that just eat plants and shit? <laughs> they don't call them wolves. This is one of the largest animal in its family. Its body length, excluding the tail, can reach 5.2 feet. The tail length exceeds 20 inches. The height of the gray wolf is almost 3.2 feet, and it weighs about 220 pounds. The gray wolf is a typical predator. That's wasteful thinking. When did you become king sh and animal expert all of a sudden? Wolves often hunt in packs and attack quite large animals, from moose, deer, and wild boars to antelopes, horses, and cows. Gray wolves living in the Arctic region can even confront polar bears. The diet depends on the range of the gray wolf because these creatures live from Eurasia and North America to the countries of the Middle East. But no matter where the wolf inhabits, it will always pose a threat. If the wolf gnaws at its prey, it has almost no chance to survive. The teeth of the gray wolf are capable of withstanding more than 10 megapascal and are both its main weapon and its means of defense. Alaskan Tundra Wolf In the very north, there are relatives of the gray wolves. Alaskan tundra wolves are not much inferior to gray wolves in terms of their size. Their length without tail reaches 5 feet, heights about 35 inches, and weighs about 209 pounds. Maybe Alaskan tundra wolves are smaller than gray wolves, but they're much more resilient and tougher. This stems from their habitat. Alaskan tundra wolves live in the Arctic, in conditions where there's not much food. The wind blows constantly, and the frozen ground allows only plants with very short roots to survive. Alaskan tundra wolves have to try hard to survive, but even in the Arctic, they find food. For example, they hunt musk oxen, some of the most resilient animals in the history of Earth. They also attack reindeer, Arctic hares, and lemmings. In the open spaces of the Arctic, it's difficult to find shelter for a surprise attack on prey, so Alaskan tundra wolves often have to rely on their stamina and patience. Patience, boys. All good things to those who wait. They wait for their prey to let down and stop defending themselves, and then they attack. Due to difficult conditions, only one in ten hunts by packs of Alaskan tundra wolves is successful. Sometimes these wolves go many days without food, and then eat up to 22 pounds of meat at a time. Irregularity of feeding sometimes results in a hungry wolf eating an arctic hare with skin, fur, and bones at a time. Northwestern Wolf Another huge predator lives next to the Alaskan tundra wolf. The Mackenzie Valley Wolf, or the Northwestern Wolf, is notable for its considerable size, reaching 35 inches in height and weighing up to 174 pounds. If Alaskan tundra wolves inhabit the whole territory of the Arctic and the tundra, the Mackenzie Valley wolves live only in North America. 
mainly in western Canada and Alaska. In order for the northwestern wolf to survive in harsh conditions, nature has rewarded it with thick and long limbs that allow it to move through difficult terrain. Also in its broad chest, there are large lungs, which allow the wolf to breathe better at high altitude and use a lot of energy. In a day, the wolf walks up to 71 miles. As they roam the northern territories, northwestern wolves look for prey. Moose, musk oxen, and bison are usually caught in their teeth. Bison are a particularly favorite delicacy of these wolves. These are rare delicacies. Mm. Mm. Pecans. For this reason, they're often referred to as the bison menace. Bison and other large animals are handled by the Mackenzie Valley Wolf's incredible jaws. Large fangs combined with powerful jaws give this large and dangerous wolf great bite force, which is enough to break the bones of its prey. And that's all, guys. Who do you like more, wolves or dogs? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.